What's up guys? We are back at Oak Hill Cemetery. Just to try and do a little in-depth uh, video this time. Uh, ah, screw it. It's not like I really have anyone to uh, worry about, really. And, you know, if I do come across the family, I'm going to stay out their way. But uh, just really quick, I want to show you guys off some of the stuff I wasn't able to. So, some like that says, They gave their lives in the world war that liberty might live to their memory and to remind those who come after of the price paid for liberty this tablet is erected by their comrades of the American Legion and at the bottom it says to you from falling hands we throw the torch be yours to hold it high so that's that's really awesome 1917-1918 you know that's that's really special right there I do apologize for the wind I know it's probably not the best but, you know, I just wanted to show off stuff like this. You know, you don't see a gravestone of that caliber every day, especially at a cemetery. But even though I am here, I'm going to do my absolute best to not film any graves or markers of the recently deceased. And if I accidentally happen to have one, I'll just edit it out. You know, it's all about respect, truthfully. So, again, that's a Kellogg grave right there. I think Frank Kellogg, I'll have to do a little research on that. Yo, that is big though. Massive marble. And then there's the granddaddy's vault. I think there's another Kellogg over there. I believe there's a Kellogg over there. Yeah, you just don't see this kind of stuff, man. Little chapel over there. Man. And all the way down there, that's where the vets are. So we'll definitely give them their utmost respect when we visit. So uh, that storm we got in Battle Creek a couple days ago, well, it looks like I found where all that lightning was going, unfortunately. So, here again are some more catalogs. Unfortunately, our dearly departed Keith, he didn't live long. 1885 to 89, 84 to 85, or 94 to 95, sorry. 1860 to 1951. So this is, I believe, the original man. D. Kellogg, or maybe his brother. It looks like the children didn't get to live too long, though. Some of them. Don't know if those were the kids or grandkids or what. But there is another thing that I do want to show off. And that's right here. I don't want to step on to the actual but the early bird gets the worm and you see a whole bunch of pennies so I think that is super 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 cool for people to not only show respect like that but you know just for that to be there that's sweet and then of course from the outside of this little gate So you know it's them. Special K's. This is a little morbid, but I'm not gonna lie. I think this is my favorite gravestone I've ever seen in my entire life. It looks like a, like an oak tree, you know? Not gonna lie, when my time comes, might do that. Love the idea, Mr. Reverend William Ford, Mr. Ford. Love the idea, brother. Rest in peace. And yeah, you know, some people might give me a little slack for visiting the cemetery, but 
I mean, honestly, we all end up here, you know? The way I look at it, at least we're not alone in the end. I don't know, it's comforting, really. Kind of, uh, I don't know. It brings comfort, visiting. You know, truthfully, it feels like it just goes on and on. Like it doesn't have an end at all in sight. Oh, it's just everywhere you look, you know, just grave, grave, grave. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at there. We have another uh, tree grave. Yeah, it looks just like a tree. Huh. I have seen a couple of those around. Must be a theme. You know, and I'll be honest, if it's one thing that really does, really does get me on a real bad mood, it's seeing stuff like this. I'm not saying someone purposely did it, but, you know, for the city to just let it be that way, that is absolutely shameful. And here again, we have the infamous Crying Mary statue. There we go. So, a lot of people have said, especially towards nighttime, that you can actually see her cry. And if I see that, I would probably cry myself a little bit from fear. But it is a beautiful, I believe, bronze statue. Bronze, maybe uh, something. So, rest in peace, uh, Johannes Decker. I'm sorry that you're a local legend. But you do have an absolutely beautiful gravestone. Absolutely beautiful. And here we can actually see the artist inscribed. It says N.V. Walker 1911 SC. So she passed in 1900 something. So especially for the time period, that is just beautiful. Okay, so you might hear some fireworks over yonder. Uh, I was just walking around, you know, the sideline, kind of the back part of the cemetery, came across this. So, uh, looks like they're planning on making this thing even bigger. So, 200, 300 years from now, this is going to be one big old cemetery. Jeez. Because this is the veterans part, I am just going to do a moment of silence. I don't want to film every single one, but, you know, I think the best way I can show my appreciation is to let others know what they did that they existed, that they fought and they died. I think all of these are the graves of those that died in combat because 1925, 1924, 24, 1924, 1924, 1924, and then and back 1945. So I believe all of these gentlemen and possible young women unfortunately met the end during the conflict so you know it's it's one thing to see a world war two scene on tv or in a book but to actually you know be in front of the actual gravesite and just wonder what did they see what did they do what were the last minutes like i can't even imagine so it's just a the smallest of thank yous to those that deserve it most. Really wish I could just get American flag for each of these. Each and every single one. I might do that actually. Give real gratitude and show real appreciation. I'm not gonna film it all but this is just powerful. It really is. You know this is It'll bring out the emotions, for sure.